Uh, right, we're going to talk to Ryan. Or would... I don't think James would know about the drugs, would he? Oh! 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 Fucking hell! Fucking bits of shit flying everywhere! Fucking receipts and stuff! Bit careless, Simon. Probably nothing important, but Ooh, at this stage, that? I need all the clues I can get. What else have we got here? It's a fucking pendant. Fucking yes. Have we got other stuff now? Ah! Look at this. Business card. And a key ring. Who is that? St. Bernard. i ask you a couple more things, please. Let's ask. Yeah, she wouldn't know about them. Business card. Here we go. Have you seen this before? Um, nope. Sorry, never heard of him. Shimmy says, wasn't there a broken key ring at the body? Um, I don't think so. Where was that mentioned? What do you know about this? This is Simon's. I bought this from him on holiday. Has he lost it? He dropped it. He can't keep anything. Yeah, right, okay. Just give uh, it back to me, I don't want being. that. Thank you. Simon's, but I'll keep it, I suppose. Let's see what he's got to say. I uh, think you dropped this outside. Someone you know. Oh, this is just this is just from some IT guy in there. Uh, I don't need it. Enough. I uh, noticed some numbers on the back. Do you need these? I don't know. What is it? Uh, 1905? Ah, that's his oh, fucking pin yeah. number. Yeah, that's just, that's just a, a pin. Or something. Uh, I'm going to need to take your bank card so for uh, sure investigation purposes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's uh, uh, it, uh, it's not important. Banter, banter, fantastic. Uh, key ring. Is this yours? Yeah. That's for my keys. Where did you find that? Just outside. Right. Oh, it must have come off when uh, Nathan dropped my keys off. Uh, he was borrowing my car. That's very. Trusting. <laughs> yes, I, I am a bit too trusting. Four really. liter, four liter V8. Well. Get it fucking keyed. Right, exit. Thank you. Probably be back later. Thank you, Mister Tumble. Can I ask? I don't imagine I can. You won't know anything about you, surely. What about Lisa? She's gone, hasn't she? She left. I'll go try her. A few more questions, if you don't mind. Ah. Ah, here we go. Have you seen this before? No. Oh, nice and easy. <laughs> What's it? Have you seen this? Do you know anything no. about this? No, sorry. Oh, no, sorry that time. There we go. Right, easy. Uh, easy. That's all for the moment. Thank you. Could you ask Simon about the Oromorph? I don't think I could, no. It said uh, he wouldn't know anything about it. A uh, few more questions, if you don't mind. Rebecca's prescriptions. It's unlikely Paul would know about the prescription round. I would just, uh, he probably would. Do you know who this is? Uh, Dean Hayfield, Aztec. Sorry, never heard of him. We have um, some prisoner sword. What? Does our IT... Large guy. No manners. What? Right, okay. Seen this before anywhere? No. <laughs> Simple. Be back later on if that's okay. Oh, he's a fucking freak, says Liam. Yeah, he is. Business course. Hires convicts as you do, yeah. Oh, do you think it's Paul Liam? Are you locking that in, son? Locking that in. Oh, 
Oh, you, oh, oh did you mean you Couple hate more him? questions, if that's okay. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, you wouldn't know about them. Business card. Recognise this at all? Recognise. Yeah, he fixed my laptop. Does he live locally? I think so. What was that shifty eye look about then? Seen this before. Don't think so. Hey, looks like that. He looks at me then like I got me no about. Look. Seen this before. Oh, I what's... think so. Oh, what's that? Okay, Exit. that's it for now. Thank she misses Sam and banging the IT guy. Could you imagine? Yeah, Liam spotted it. His eyes. <laughs> right, let's see. I don't think I can talk to Lisa. Let's go and have a nosy. No. Nothing. Graves says, I'd rather not imagine. Well, it's too late now. You already are imagining. In the back of his fucking Corsa. All lots of sweaty in the car park of this pub here. There. Right, who am I talking to now? It's Dr. Ryan. What? Was that a PIN number on that business card? Yes, it was. You should also call the chief for an update. There are things you haven't asked Ryan. Right, I'm going to ask Ryan and then I'm going to go call the chief. Grey area's having a crisis now. I'm thinking about Simon and that IT guy. It's like that bit in there, uh, you know, the first X-Men film where... Uh, is it the first one or is it the second one where Cerebro gets uh, infected? Professor X starts going fucking mental. <laughs> Shaking and that his wheelchair tips over and everything. Fucking mental. Shimmy says, is there anything we've seen that requires a pin? No. I haven't seen anything. No, nope. more questions, we go. please. Thank you. Uh prescriptions. Do you know what the medicine in the cupboard at the pub is for? You'd better ask Rebecca about that. I'm not exactly sure what's in there. She tends to keep her wares under lock and key. Do you know, our wedding night was quite a surprise. <laughs> Why? Do you want to tell me more about that? Do you want to tell me more about that, please, Ryan? Know anything about this? Uh, no, I don't. I'm sorry. We, we have our own IT chap. Lovely chap, in fact. Uh, fat and sweaty, though. It's, it's, it's like a double act, doesn't it? <laughs> mm. Oh, did he... Didn't actually physically see the, the drinking of the drink, then? Have you seen this before? No, sorry. Right. Thank oh, you. That. Probably be back later. Um. Right, let's go call the chief. Liam says his arm must be killing Liam against that old fucking day. Yeah, I agree. And he goes. Let's call the chief. Chief's gonna fucking hate it. What number did he just call? Carry on, Jenks. Not much else has happened, except I found out that Simon Thompson owns a car which he lends out to friends, apparently. Ooh. I thought. Anything else? I'm afraid that's all I've got at the moment. Well, keep going, Jenks. Go and quiz Thompson about that car, will you? Will oh. do, Chief. Right. Right, so we've got to go and ask Simon about his car. Although, earlier, he's, he's got a bike. He said he didn't have a car, did he? Or it's in for... A service or an MOT or something he Ask said. You a couple didn't he? things, please. Owns a new car. Let's see what he said about the bike. His little gay bike. Where is it? Bike belongs to Simon's cousin. Bike is the only way Simon can get to work. Try that. Yeah, see, there you go. So the bike's the only way you can get to work, yes? Yeah. What's wrong with the car? No, I can't drive the car yet, can I? I don't have my license. Right. I got a windfall from an insurance payout. 
uh, just figured I'd buy something sensible with it straight away instead of wasting the money. What was the insurance payout? Uh, it was for a laptop. It got stolen down at Atlas. An Atlas? Well, they didn't break in. They, I think they just walked in and took it. What? The laptop was in a storeroom, but I think the lock was broken, to be honest. Doesn't sound like they're taking their security very seriously. No, uh, no. Actually, it got a lot better after that. I think I'll check it anyway. Must have been a very nice laptop to be able to buy a car with go. the insurance. Or a very cheap car. Yeah, Might have to have a talk with Ryan about his security measures. Yeah, it's probably a load of shit, isn't it? That's Thank you. Probably be back later. She says she'd be back in 10, and Liam says would be more concerned with the doctor handing out bigger prescriptions than he should. Yeah, fucking damn right. Did you know about Simon's laptop being stolen? Yeah, because it had all my college work on it, which I hadn't backed up or saved. Get your uh, laptop, not then. that it mattered much, but uh, I did buy a new one. And Simon uses it now. When I let him. <laughs> That's yeah. all for the moment. Thank you. Yeah, the doctor thing is very concerning. Very, very concerning. Let's ask Rebecca about the stolen laptop, see what she knows. She seems to know everything. Um, press the bell. Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. Uh, it's Rebecca. All oh, right. Be back later on, if that's okay. Wasting the time. Anything going on in here? No. Liam says she did it. She said he did it as a favour. Yeah, a bit weird. Uh, I don't think James. He might know about it. Stolen Ask laptop. Ask about a few more things, there please. We go. And what do you know about Simon's laptop being stolen from Atlas? I know I wasn't happy about it. What did you do about it? Ryan paid a con man to install a complicated CCTV system at twice the price. Talking like William Shatner. Cost. Seemed to do the trick, though. We haven't had a theft since. There we go. Thank you. Probably I don't think James better. will know anything, but go and ask him anyway. And then it's back to Ryan, I assume. Couple more questions, if that's okay. No, he knows nothing. Uh, that's it for the time being. Thank you. So let's go and talk. Brian about the stolen laptop. See what he's got to say for himself. Uh, oh, back up there. In we go. A few more questions, please. Stolen laptop. Were you at Atlas when Simon's laptop was stolen? Oh, I believe I was, yes. It was taken from the storeroom in the hallway. Was it ever recovered? No, we didn't catch anyone. We're quite exposed out here. Uh, somebody could just wandered along the lane, seen into the storeroom. It's not particularly secure. They could have been in and out within minutes. Uh, that's why we advise people to keep their valuables with them. You can't be too careful these days. No, you can't, mate. Right. Shimmy says Simon is banging the IT guy. And Rebecca is a big time Oromorph dealer. Yeah, that IT guy. Big Thank fat you. sweaty Probably fella. Be back later. I think Simon's pumping his fat. His hot fat ass. And says, yes, little tea leaves in Atlas. They are, mate. Fucking, don't give a shit. Right. Call the chief for an update. Okay. Wrong one. Right, what is this number? What's he, what's he tell? 
Zero two six five. Fucking hell. Here we go. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Made a bit of a discovery at the pub, Chief. Apparently, Rebecca takes what I think is a morphine. Fucking bong it. She had some on prescription in a cupboard at the pub. Ah, is there a contradiction there? Well, I couldn't make her out, to be honest, but she didn't admit it was morphine. And I saw Ryan taking something from the cupboard, too. Didn't see what it was, though. Mm, it could have been the same thing. Well, check it out and get back to me, will Ah, you? is it not? Well, speak later. Okay, bye-bye. Yeah, he's got fucking long COVID, that cunt. Yeah, that's... That's obvious. They can't both be on fucking morphine. She's covering. She's covering for him. It is. And we're going to find out. I ask you a couple more things. Yeah, sounds please. very new and continuous. That. It's definitely new. We haven't coughed like that before. Right. Descriptions. Okay, so right. Let's have a look. See what we can see. Okay, well. Nope. I'm going to look through. There's something here. Okay, lost slices. No, it's all to do with It doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. Is it in the homebrew section? Buys from microbrewery, doesn't buy from kitchen breweries. I see she didn't wear the necklace, thinks the necklace has some sort of meaning. I haven't seen anyone wearing one recently. Argument between two girls, broken window at 6.30, taped the broken window to make it safer. Rebecca is strict about barring clients, Kate broke the window during an argument. Is that the same one? No. There we go. Suggest asking Ryan about the mask. Mask used on Atlas course. Mask allows students to roleplay. Thinks the mask is Ryan's. Ryan had the poster designed by an agency. Poster was designed last year. Never seen a scrying mirror. Has anyone got black stone? Up on guilt. Knows about the free to be free phrase. Leaves are from Savi Divinorum. Oscar Manager used to grow Savi years ago. So this genetic doesn't take any drugs or medicines, people. You fucking lying bitch. There we go. There we fucking go. So, you don't take any medicines except for prescription painkillers. Well, they're not actually for me, they're Ryan's. Oh, there we go. For some reason, the Turned him over quick. To my name. He's a... an old gentleman. Does Ryan need prescription painkillers? Yes, he's got arthritis. Really? He's oh. young to suffer from that, isn't he? He doesn't have it badly, but he does need medication from time to time. What medicine is it? I can tell you, to be honest. Ryan will know. So Ryan's the one using the prescriptions. I think there I might have go. a word with him, work out exactly what this medicine is. Oh, yes. Ah, uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. She sold him right on the river. Sold him down the river. Just like that. Gone. A few more questions, if you don't mind. When did Ryan begin to suffer from arthritis? Ryan doesn't suffer from arthritis. Oh. Really? The only thing that Ryan suffers from is a pathetic inability to deal with any kind of discomfort. He pulled his back sometime last year. Since then, he's going around telling everybody he suffers from arthritis. I thought he had medication for it. Oh, he only has medication because his GP, who is almost as dysfunctional as he is, oh. keeps prescribing it for him. There you so go, Liam. you don't believe he really has arthritis? Not at all. There you go, Liam. The doctor next. The doctor next. Be back later on, if that's okay. Illegally. Oh, yes. I feel like Jenks hasn't investigated the murder as much as he should. Yeah, we're getting into sort of personal affairs now, aren't we? And Bumming IT guys and drugs. A uh, few more questions, if you don't mind. Yeah, I imagine we'll. Got nothing. Yeah, um, 
This weird guy. Okay, that's it for now. Is that watching his fires kind of falling by the wayside as well? But yeah, I think we're sort of veering off the path of the murderer, but I imagine it'll come all clear very, very soon. It has to. It'd be a bit fucking stupid if it didn't. Um, let's have a little wander up here. Right, let's ask these two if they know about his prescription. See what they know. A couple more questions. Just, yes, sort this fucking doctor out. I know it's disgraceful. Did you know about Ryan Round's arthritis? Arthritis? I, I didn't think Ryan had arthritis. Well. Thank you. Probably be back later. One of the people that seems to think Ryan's got arthritis is his wife and most likely him. Did you know about Ryan's arthritis? Ryan? No. He's got arthritis? Apparently. Oh, I didn't know. I hadn't noticed he had any problems. Apart from the obvious mental Thank problems. you. Probably be back later. Uh, right. Let's go over to Ryan and see what he's fucking got to say for himself. Let's have a nosy down here. I don't think we're going to find anything, but just to be sure. To be sure, to be sure. Catch is someone dogging on the lake. Well, if you look, I think there's already something going on. A couple of people over here. Up to no good, no doubt. I think they're uh, vigorously masturbating and looking at each other intensely while they do so. But, well, I'm not one to judge. Much. Um, right. A few more questions, please. Thank you. Here we go. Tell me about your arthritis. Oh, you found out about that. <laughs> well, yes. I'm old before my time. <laughs> That's very unlucky to have it so young. Well, I take a lot from life, Inspector. And sometimes life likes to give you a little bit back. I mean, it's not too bad, it's not too debilitating. It's mainly uh, some in my right hand, some in my left hand. It's not particularly a problem. Drink uh, it! It makes it difficult to hold small things, though. What do you take for it? I uh, get a prescription painkiller. How often do you need that? Not often, as and when, as and when. I. Keep some here, I keep some at home. Oh. It's not a problem. He said, correct me if I'm wrong, he said, no drugs or alcohol on site at Atlas. That's what he said at some point in the past. He said that. Can't remember where, but it will be somewhere. Uh, it won't be. It was, it was quite, it was quite a while back. He said, for insurance purposes, they can't hold those things on site. Um, somewhere. Doll burning. Salvia. There we go. Doesn't allow drugs or alcohol onto Atlas premises. Grayer says if he drank, it would be a nightmare for continuity. Well, shouldn't have given him a drink then. Should have given him something else. There we go. What? But that is a contradiction. That is a contradiction. Or is it that one? Might be that one. Oh, thank uh, God for that. There we go. So, you don't keep any medicines on site at Atlas? No. Except Liar. your prescription painkillers. 
Well, these are not available to the students. But they are kept on site. Yes, but they're locked away. They're kept in the storeroom. Nobody would have access to them. You're sure about that? Absolutely sure. And what are the painkillers, Ryan? <laughs> they're painkillers. Yeah, just painkillers. Normal painkillers. Paracetamol. Codeine. Morphine. Ah. All right, they're morphine tablets, yes. Oh, really? Oh, come He's on, smack Inspector. Man. I know what you're thinking, but there's no way Kate could have had access to them. Because they're in the storeroom. Well, not just that. She wouldn't have even known about them or where they were. Sure about that? Yes. Whoa. So it is morphine Ryan's taking. The pieces are starting to come together. Now I just have to work out how Kate got hold of it. There we it go. It's Ryan's morphine she got hold of, of course. There we go. That's right. all for the moment. Thank you. Is that you. everything? I think that was everything. What was that pin number? Right, let's... Gotta call the chief for an update. William says he went a bit Chris Hansen then. Yes, fucking Chris Hansen. What are you doing here, the chief? Ryan's taking morphine for his arthritis. <laughs> oh well, done. Where does he keep it? Under lock and key, so he says. Insisted nobody could have had access to it. Well, we know that's a load of rubbish. Ah, ah, hang on. To it, Jenks, which means all they have to do is keep the pressure up. Crack it. You okay, Chief? Gotta go. Bye bye. That's that can't be true. Because Simon had his laptop stolen. Simon had his laptop stolen, remember? So it can't be secure. Ask you a couple more things, please. It can't be secure. Where is it? Keeps paying keeps my secure room. There we go. Storeroom isn't particularly secure. Got you. Fucking got you, son. So the storeroom isn't particularly secure, yet you keep your morphine tablets in there. I thought you said no one could get access to the morphine, but they could quite easily, couldn't they, Ryan? I didn't mean that storeroom. I meant a different storeroom. I keep them in there. OK. So where was it locked up? It's upstairs. It's got a combination oh. lock on it. Nobody could have access Pin. to it except me and Dad. Pin number? Nobody. I might have a look at that if you don't mind. Don't mind at all. Pin number? A combination locked room, I see. Well, I might have a look around for that. See how secure and combination locked it really is. Here we go. We're on a fucking roll here, people. We're fucking... Here we go. Upstairs. Fucking hell, sprinting up them stairs. There it is. Here we go. This the one. There we go. We're fucking in. What the fuck? It echoes. To the oh my! Room. What is this? This exercise is all about identifying the difference between the image one presents to the world and one's real self. What the lies fuck is going on? In our unconscious. As you move through the network of mirrors, practice seeing yourself He's fucking trapped. as a stranger. The more you separate from your persona, the more aware you will become of your true desires and ambitions. Chant with us. I am free from my image. I am free from my past. I am free from myself. I am free from my image. I am free from my past. I am free from myself. I am free from my image. I am free from my past. Fucking hell, it's giving me the fear, this. <laughs> this exercise involves the use of liberation masks. You have now completed Module 1. Module 2 covers boundary testing, threshold testing and extreme testing. Please read the notes carefully before attempting the module. 
that was like it, it sounded like it was coming from this really elaborate set of speakers that were dotted around this mirror room and really it was just some shitty CD player in the corner fucking booming it out <laughs> proper shite okay no right uh, I don't think there's anything no little sleeve Greer says, mirror room, mighty boosh, anyone? I do... Was there a fucking mad person dressed in, like, rags in the mighty boosh? In a mirror room or something? I haven't seen it for a long time. I've got the DVDs somewhere. Oh, they're over on the shelf over there. But I haven't watched it for fucking years. Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. Uh, mirror room. Can you tell me what you know about the mirror room upstairs? Oh, you found that then. Hmm. Well, it's very similar to the costumes, Inspector. It's designed to help the students look at themselves differently. And what do you do with the mirrors? You look at yourself, Inspector. You look at yourself until you start seeing yourself as, as others do. And you don't see yourself as, as you do anymore. It, it really... The idea is that you can see yourself eventually any way you wish. So why in a locked room? To make sure you're not distracted, that's all. How often is it used? Not often. A few times a month. Some students find it useful. Some don't. I think spending all that money on that fucking mirror room. What a load of shite. What a load of fucking shite. Be back later on if that's okay. Right, now to ask Simon, because he was fucking shifty as fuck about that pin number. He knows about that room. He knows about that room. He's a no good, dirty little liar. <laughs> 